They're the most underrepresented population on the UW Madison campus, but a new program and a $1.3 million grant will seek to change that. As Dave Delosier tells us, the goal is to reduce the disparity in health care in Wisconsin's Native American communities. I grew up in Oneida, Wisconsin on the reservation. Which made the move to UW-Madison and the School of Nursing a big jump for Gala Kimberly Cornelius. I think it's very scary. Um, you're just, you're used to, when you live on the reservation, you're used to seeing people that you know, seeing people that look like you. Sometimes, And that is not the case in the classrooms at UW School of Nursing. We only have one or two students per year who self-identify as American Indian or Native American. Um, well, I always say that you can't be what you can't see. Um, and so representation really matters. To address that, the School of Nursing applied for and received a $1.3 million grant to recruit and retain Native American nurses. The goal is to reduce disparities in health care in Native American communities. So having nurses who are actually members of the community is really vital to addressing um, the grave health disparities that actually exist in these communities. The university is working with the Great Lakes Intertribal Council to recruit 30 nursing students. They are also creating a support system to make the transition to UW-Madison easier. So our program, we hope, will provide them peer support and mentoring from American Indian nurses. After graduation, Gala plans to return to her community. Our Native people, they need to see Native nurses, they need to see Native providers, and that, I think, will help them trust the health care system a little bit more. In Madison, this is Dave Delosier, WISC News 3. Currently, about 90% of nurses providing health care in tribal health care facilities are white. All 12 Wisconsin tribes are federally designated health professional shortage areas.